Sweet. All right, guys, we're back again. Will and Mark here, right? Just talking about Mobility Monday again. We want to stay lean and mean. All right, we can do all the strength work in the world, but if we don't have any mobility, then that's not gonna really be a good use of our time. So we wanna stay nice and mobile. So really run through these, these mobility circuits. You can run through them twice a day, you could do them five times a day if you wanted to, and you could do them every single day, especially if you're a little stiff with some of these motions, okay? So we got Will here, he's gonna demonstrate some of these motions again. First one we're gonna do is an air squat with a hold. So Will's gonna come down on that nice squat, reach out in front, and just try to hold this position five or 10 seconds at the bottom. Good stretch for the ankles, good stretch for the hips. If you want to at home, you can add a little bit of load here so we can give Will the weight. At home, if you don't have weights, a 12 pack of beer or soda or water, a milk carton, a milk jug, some juice, whatever you have, juice boxes. Smart food. Smart food, perfect, I love it. Pirate's booty. Uh, anything you got, just hold it at the bottom to get a little bit more of a stretch. Next thing we're gonna do, forward lunge with some rotation. Again, always rotating towards that lunging side. So he lunges with that left leg, rotates to the left. We're gonna do 10 reps per side, nice and slow and controlled. Beautiful. After that, we're gonna do a lateral lunge stretch, all right? So we're gonna get those feet a little bit wider, right? We're gonna slowly laterally lunge to that right side, keep that left leg straight. Really good to open up the hips, and then you're just gonna alternate. 10 times per side each way. Beautiful, Will, that looks nice. Just for you, Mike. Single leg RDLs next. One of my favorites, good way to kind of get those hamstrings and glutes, open up those hips a little bit. So we're gonna balance on one leg. We're trying to reach as much as you can. I would say face it. All right, so Will's gonna balance on that left leg. Nice, relaxed knee. We're not having a locked out knee. Reaching forward. Trying to lift that back leg up a little bit, keeping that spine nice and straight. Want to feel those hamstrings and glutes firing off there. If you're having trouble with the balance, just grab a countertop, a chair, a wall, whatever you have, you can hold on, and then just reach with that opposite hand. Easy, All right? Next thing, we're gonna go on the ground, do a couple things on the ground. So we want to work on the shoulders and the upper back. So we're gonna do some quadruped T's, I's, and Y's. So with the left arm, first Will's gonna keep the thumb up and reach right out in front of him. That's your eye. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do a Y, thumb up as well, boom. And we're gonna come back and do a T. If you can do thumb up for this, even better. Really getting those shoulders to open up, open up that T-spine. We'll do five rounds of that, and then we're gonna switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. From there, we're gonna do a little thread the needle. If you got a foam roller, this can work really well with the foam roller. It's gonna take that right hand, come through, just trying to open up that upper back a little bit, hold for about a five or 10 second count. We'll do five to 10 times both sides, right? Make sure the knees feel okay. If you're having trouble with the knees in that position, you can just go up against the wall and I can do the same thing up against the wall. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, after that, we're gonna do a little bit of prone press up with some child's pose. So we're doing some extension for the back followed by flexion, all right? So we wanna do the press ups first. We try to get the hands by the armpits coming up, keep those hips down. If that gives you pain, you can just bring your hands up a little bit, right? So if Will moves his hands up to his head, now he's not getting as much of a stretch. And then once he's done with 10 reps of that, holding for 10 seconds, he's gonna come back right in that child's pose, keep his arms straight, his head's nice and relaxed. He's looking at the space between his knees or behind him, right? 10 second hold, doing about five to 10 reps of that. Beautiful. And after that, we're gonna do a little bit of some yoga flow. All right, yoga flow, we do. Downward dog first, right? We're gonna take that left leg up to the ceiling, swing that leg through. We're in that good runner stretch. And then if you wanna get really crazy, we can add a little bit of rotation. Just doing 10 per side. Bring that leg back, back up into downward dog. Other leg up, swing it through. And then now we can rotate. 